so as i i was saying that the simplest one of the simplest applications of the euler equation is that we have uh, we can prove that this shortest distance between the two points is along a straight line okay so i will just start with the distance element as i was saying if i have the two points in an equilibrium space if this is a point a with the coordinates x1 y1 and this is an point b with coordinates x2 y2 and there are actually an infinite number of paths between these two points the shortest of all those paths will be along a straight line so we will try to prove this particular application by using an euler equation i will use the euler equation to check whether this is true or not that the shortest distance between the two points is along a straight line so let me uh, start with you know that the distance element the distance element between the two points is given by is given by that is ds is always given by under root of this dx square plus dy square right or i can just write down this as ds is equal to uh, dx square plus dy square raised to power 1 over 2 i will just divide and multiply this right hand side by dx square so once i will divide this by dx square the distance element will be like it will be dx by dx so it will be 1 and this will be now dy by dx whole square raised to power 1 by 2 aur jo main multiply yahan pe kar raha hu dx square uska ye under root 1 by 2 jo hai it will be simply dx or i can just write down this as 1 plus yx square raised to power 1 by 2 into dx where your yx is nothing it's just dy by dx okay now the distance the distance j may be written as may be written as i will write down this as distance j will be given by as an integral from the point x1 y1 to x2 y2 into ds integral of this ds from the limits x1 y1 to x2 y2 so now i know that the distance element i have already obtained that distance element this is given by this so i will write down this as okay now since i am considering this and the x as a dependent variable here so i will just instead of taking the limits from y1 to y2 and this this ds is independent of x if you look at this there is no x dependence so i will just consider the limits from x1 to x2 rather than from x1 y1 and x2 y2 because it is a function of only one dependent variable that is y in this x not the y so the limits will go from 1 x1 to x2 ds ke badle mein 1 plus yx square raised to power 1 by 2 into dx okay now from the uh, last lecture uh, the small variation in this uh, distance j that is always given by delta j from the euler equation delta j so i will just given this as delta i will just given this i will just give as delta j will be equal to delta now from integral x1 to x2 and you know that that is given as a functional f of some y yx and x into dx from the last lecture why do you know that this uh, for me the functional here f of this y yx and x is my 1 plus yx square raised to power 1 by 2 so there we have used the general term fu function uh, as some function f which is a function of y y x and dx so here my function will be 1 plus y x raised for 1 over 2 and if you look at this particular function this since this is a function of three variables three functions y y x and the x but here it is a function it's not depend on it is independent of the y and also you know that the euler equation how we do how we give the euler equation the euler equation which we have obtained in the previous case that is always given by partial f by partial y minus d by dx of partial f by partial yx is equal to 0 we have obtained this this is an euler equation euler equation 
सो हेयर वट इज माई एफ नाउ माई एफ फंक्शन जो मेरे पास है दैट इज एक्चुअली वन प्लस वाई एक्स स्क्र रेज पावर वन बाई टू सब शूटिंग दिस फंक्शन एफ इन टू दिस पर्टिकुलर आइलर इक्वेशन आई विल जस्ट यू विल जस्ट सी सो एफ हेयर इट इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ द वाई सो वट विल बी डी एफ बाई डी वाई सो पार्शल एफ बाई पार्शल वाई विल सिंपली बी इक्वल टू जीरो बिकॉज इट इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ नो वाई इज बींग इन्वॉल्व हेयर okay so if this the first term is zero so my euler equation will now become therefore my euler equation minus d by dx of partial f by partial y x will be equal to zero okay so here since f is equal to 1 plus y x square raised to power 1 by 2 okay what will be the derivative of this partial f by partial y x so we have to take the derivative with respect to this variable so partial f By partial y x, like you do d up do away by do x. So here we have to take the derivative with respect to y x. So you will write down this as this will simply be equal to one by two into one plus y x square raised to power n minus one. That is one by two minus one, one by two minus one into the differentiation of y of x. So that will be simply equal to two y y of x. now this 2 and 2 will get cancel out this will be raised for minus 1 by 2 so this will simply be equal to y of x divided by 1 plus y x square raised power 1 by 2 okay so then this particular equation so it will become minus d by dx of partial f by partial y x what is partial f by partial x that is y x divided by 1 plus y x square Raised to power one by two, this will be equal to zero. Okay, you can just consume this uh, minus sign here, so it will be. You can also write this as a plus uh, term because we have the zero on the right hand side. So, or I can just the I so I will just integrate this particular part. Once integrating, this differential and integral will cancel out, and the after integration, After integrating, so this will simply be equal to y x divided by one plus y x square raised to power one by two will be equal to some constant c plus c will be equal to zero. So that constant I will take here a constant. Fine. Okay. Now, so this particular equation, this particular equation is satisfied if and only if this y of x is equal to some constant. so only then a constant will be equal to a constant so if this y of x is equal to constant then this particular equation is then this particular equation will be uh, satisfied so that let's let us suppose that so let me write here this equation is satisfied if y of x is equal to a yani a kya hai another constant another constant or second constant okay so what is the equation but that means this y of x will be equal to a where you know this y of x kya hai aapka this y of x is nothing it is simply dy by dx fine so now i can or i can just write this as dy by dx will be equal to a right or i can just write down this as dy is equal to a into dx okay again now integrating so you will write down this as y will be equal to a integration of this dx will be x plus some another constant b so this is the equation y is equal to ax b so you you know that the equation of straight line is equal to y x is mx plus c usually ab job lete hain where m and this c are some constants so here we obtain from the euler equation by using this the distance element that the dist, that this equation is a this is an equation of straight line so we see that the constants jo a and b jo is equation mein jo hai uh, they are now chosen such that the line passes through the, these constants are chosen such that the line passes through the two points which two points for example that means agar ye point aapka hai x1 y1 and this is an x2 y2 so these two constants a and b are chosen such that the line will pass through these two points x1 y1 and x2 x1 x1 y1 and x2 y1 so the euler equation predicts that the shortest distance so we start with the euler equation and it is simply predicted that the shortest distance between the two points in some two dimensional equilibrium space is along a 
straight line. So very simple, simplest of the examples. This is one of the simplest examples. Later on, we will consider some more examples like optical path in near a black hole, so film centenary, centenary revolutions and all that. So, but this, I just started with them, one of the sim simplest case. So simply, uh, so that's it. That's it about it. But I will move to the next. But uh, before going to that, I will just summarize it. What I actually did in this case. So what I did. So the problem was like we have we have to find out that that we have to show that the shortest distance between the two points is along a straight line, x1 y1 and x2 y2 using the Euler equation as an example. So now you know that the distance element when I, whenever I have the two points, the distance element ds is always given by some x2 minus x1 square, ds square rather. So this will be equal to plus uh, x2, y2 minus y1 whole square. Okay, now you know that x2 minus that is dx square plus dy square. This is ds square. Now, then ds will be given by under root of this, which I opened as, so the distance element ds is always given by one under root of one plus yx square into dx. So this distance element, I am writing this as a form, as a distance between j. So because the j will be given by from the limits x1 to x2 into ds, which is a function. Now this ds is actually a functional here. So this ds, this is a function with the, so the functional here is actually one plus yx square raised to power one by two. This is my function f. So this, you know that the functional uh, and the Euler equation was a function of three independent, dependent variables, y, y, x, and x, but here it is independent of y. So sub applying this for the Euler equation, that is partial f by partial x, partial f by partial y minus d by dx of partial f by partial y x, this is equal to zero. This one is, you will substitute uh, this, uh, function f, this will be simply equal to zero, then we just integrate and we can obtain the equation of a straight line as a y is equal to ax, which is an equation of a straight line. So we see that the Euler equation actually predicts that the shortest distance between the two points is always along a straight line. Okay, now before going to the another uh, uh, example, uh, that is the optical path near a black hole. Uh, so you can join me for the another meeting in, but before we uh, uh, do that, I will, talk about one more important thing that is what we call as an extremum. Again, this is very simple concept, extremum. What actually extremum is, okay? So any function, any function which satisfies Euler equation, कोई फंक्शन जो सेटिस्फाई एलर इक्वेशन करें हैं उस फंक्शन को हम बोलते हैं इज नोन एज एक्सट्रीमल ओके नाउ एक्सट्रीमल हाउ वी एक्चुअली ऑब्टेन द एक्सट्रीमल फॉर एनी फंक्शन द एक्सट्रीमल इज ऑलवेज ऑब्टेनड बाय सॉल्विंग दिस एलर इक्वेशन सो लेट अस टेक वन सिंपल एग्जांपल टू चेक द एक्सट्रीमल वेदर द गिवन फंक्शन इज एन एक्सट्रीमल और नॉट सो एज एन एग्जांपल very simple example. I will consider that uh, I have some functional i y of x. Usually I, this is a functional of y of x. So let us suppose that this is a function like zero to one, the limits are going from zero to one, x y plus y square minus two y square y prime into dx. Fine, so with the boundary conditions y of zero is equal to one and y of one is equal to two. We need to check whether this particular function f jo hai hai hai. So f here is, here f jo aapka hai, f is simply x y plus y square minus two y square y prime. We need to check whether this function f is an extremal or not, yani whether this particular function has a stationary or whether it will satisfy the boundary conditions or the not. So this is, this we can check with, if it satisfies the Euler equation, then we will say that yes, this particular function is an extremum. Okay. Now, okay. So the Euler equation, how I can write down the Euler equation? The Euler equation is given by Okay, the Euler equation is given by partial f by partial y minus d by dx of 
partial f by partial y x is equal to zero. Okay. Now since here f is this. Uh, this is f so i will just write it here then i will just substitute in this particular equation so what could i find going to take the derivative of this f with respect to y partial f by partial y so taking the derivative of this partial f by partial with respect to y so here it will be y uh, x into the derivative of dy by d, dy that is 1 plus now differentiation of y square with respect to y that is 2y okay minus here it will be 2y Two, uh, two to the four y y prime, so it will be minus four y y prime. Fine, okay. Now what could be partial f by partial y x? Now partial f by partial y x. Partial f by partial y x will be any. I have, so here it is uh, will be zero. It will be zero. Only this term will survive. So it will be. 2y square partial f y prime by partial y prime here pe hai. So instead of y prime y x here, I will write down this as a partial y prime. Okay. So what could be? It will be simply minus 2y square because the derivative of this will be equal to with respect to y prime will be equal to 1. So it will be minus 2y square. Okay. Now I just substitute all these values in this particular equation. Substitute. So what could be now dy by dx? <clears throat> Okay, uh, before going that, I will just also find this d by dx of uh, this uh, partial f by partial y prime. So d by dx of partial f by partial y prime or y x you can say. Now, since I have a y prime here, so you can write down this as a y prime, y x is one and the same. Okay, so now it will be d by dx of what is partial f by partial y prime that is minus 2 y prime. So this will simply be equal to y prime. So do, do, do not uh, think here that it's a y prime and we have to take the derivative with respect to x. But you know that y prime is what is y prime is dy by dx. Hai. So now we have to take the derivative. So, sorry, not 2y prime. It is 2y square. 2y square. So 2y square. 2y square. Okay. So it will be now. Minus two y prime. Minus. Minus four y y prime. Okay, it will be simply minus four y y prime, right? It will be simply minus 4y y prime. Okay, so we have obtained this part as well as the this part. So let us substitute these values in this particular IR equation. We will see whether it will satisfy these conditions or not. Okay, what could be the first part? It was x plus, therefore, x plus 2y minus 4y y prime minus into minus will become plus 4y y prime will be equal to 0. Or so now this part and this will cancel, it will be x plus 2y will be equal to 0. Or I can just simply y will be equal to uh, minus x by 2. Okay, so but since from this Sir, particular case, I am sorry, really... sorry, 4 by q by prime, shy I 4 y q. No, sir. Okay. So Thieke. now since since uh, the, from these boundary conditions, you just look at these boundary conditions. Since at x is equal to zero, what is y? Y is equal to one. Right? So here, but agar x is equal to zero, what could be the y? But from this case, but at but if x is equal to 0 implies y is equal to 0, right? x is equal to 0, y could be simply equal to 0. And at x is equal to 1, y will be equal to x is equal to 1, y will be equal to minus 1 by 2. But we have at, but we have at y is equal to 1, 
sorry at x is equal to 1 y is equal to 2 y is equal to 2 so the extremal jo hamara hai extremal means this particular function since it does not satisfy the boundary conditions hona kya chahiye tha it this should also satisfy these boundary conditions jo yahan pe hamare paas hai since it does not satisfy these boundary conditions so we conclude that we will conclude that the there is no extremal that there is no extremal that is extremal means any yani the function which will satisfy the euler equation so i what i mean by the euler equation that it should it should have an stationary value it should have a stationary value that what i mean by the stationary value that means if so i have some function f of x so at x is equal to a this f prime of a should be equal to 0 that is what i mean by the stationary value so that means that this particular function jo hamare paas hai it there is no extremal yani it's not a stationary value or stationary i mean the minimum or the maximum value right so likewise i will give you later on the in an assignment i will give you some another functions where you need to check whether this is the particular functions are the extremal or the not for that case what you have to do you have to just substitute those functions in this euler equation if it satisfies the euler equation then we will say that yes they will be so here we have proved this but it does not satisfy the euler equation because the boundary condition is our euler equation ki jo boundary condition wo ye hai since it doesn't satisfy this boundary condition so we will conclude that oh, yes this is not an extremal right later on i will give you an as an assignment some other uh, this functions where you will be asked to prove that whether this is a functional but uh, uh, this was just a simple definition what i mean by the uh, this extremal but in examination or in the later on there, there will be some another function and you need to prove so you should be able to know how we can prove whether the particular function is an ex, there is an extremal or not for a particular function or not so it's very really quite easy okay so now before moving to the another thing the um, that is what i mean by the optical path in near a black hole i will give you another form of in this euler equation that is what we call as an alternate alter alternate form of alternate form of this euler equation alternate another form of an alternate this euler equation so what could be the another form of an euler equation so there is uh, actually an another euler uh, form of an euler equation which is quite often useful so we might need it later on so that is simply parse we know we were not going to prove this thing but it's um, i will just write it here and you have to re remember we will just apply this particular form in the later some in applications it is partial f by partial x minus d by dx of this f minus yx into partial f by partial yx right modified form of an euler equation so this is another form of an euler equation this is what we call as an alternate form of an euler uh, this um, euler equation so uh, this is useful in the problems where f actually is In, or we will say that in certain problems we have this functional f jo aapka hai it is a function of f this y and y x not a function of x so that is in which the there is no x uh, dependence any x does not ap appear in these particular functions so if x does not appear in this particular equation so this can be simple uh, again modified to a more simpler form so if it is there is no x dependence obviously this this part will be equal to zero then what could be my euler equation so my euler equation will simply be equal to d by dx of f minus yx partial f by partial yx this will be equal to zero or on integration you can just if i am going to integrate it it will be now f minus yx into partial f by partial yx will be equal to some constant okay so this uh, means that if uh, there is no x dependence in a given function or i will say that the x does not appear explicitly so this particular equation so all you need to have to remember sometimes we can have the function where there will be x dependence then you have to use this equation as a whole but if there is no x dependence you can simply use this particular equation this is again an euler equation or you just use this uh, after integration i will just arrive at this is so this is an alternate form of an euler equation is it okay 
Okay, so we will now move to a next problem, which is about the optical path near a black hole. So for that, because we have only a few minutes left in this meeting, you just rejoin me with the same link and we will start afresh because it, we needed half an hour for that particular problem. That is again, very simple problem, but all you need to have some little attention. Okay, so uh, just uh, drop and do join again quickly with the same link.